Hey y'all. Today I just thought I would share with you my fall and Halloween decorate with me. Um, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not really gung ho about fall decor. I know there, there are some people out there that are just like all about it. <laughs> um, but I'm not. Honestly, Halloween is my favorite holiday to decorate for. And I think that's largely because of my mom. Um, that was, she loved to decorate for, for Christmas as well, but, um, she really decorated. I, Halloween was her favorite holiday as well. And was, is, I think it's still her favorite holiday. She doesn't have kids, you know, like small kids anymore. So she doesn't participate in holiday stuff as much now, but, um, my mom's favorite holiday is Halloween and she would go all out and she would change like the lights in our, in our playroom so that they would be like colored lights instead of like plain white light bulbs. So like we would have like red and purple and green light bulbs in our light in the playroom. And then, um, she would change the light outside and we would decorate the front of our house and we had this really cool covered porch that she would decorate and she would hand out candy and my dad would take us trick-or-treating and she always dressed up for Halloween. Um, yeah, and I just, like, just the feeling that Halloween gave me as a child, I want to be able to offer some of that to my kids. Like, just that, I don't know, I don't know what the word is. It's like, I mean, right now, the only thing I think of is this nostalgia. It's nostalgic for me, but, like, there was just this feeling that I got whenever like we would come home and mom would have the house decorated for Halloween and we'd get to pick out our Halloween costumes and it was just like a, a calming wasn't the word because it's not that either I don't know what the word is I I'm failing at words today but um yeah Halloween is definitely my favorite holiday to decorate for it's probably my second favorite holiday anyways um thanksgiving being the first and then halloween being the second um luckily those two are pretty close together so <laughs> yeah um i will go ahead and insert a clip after i get done decorating the end of this i i love picking out my kids halloween costumes um and i'm sure they'll get to an age eventually where they want to pick out their costumes but right now they're not old enough to really know what they want to be um you know if i said hey do you want to be paw patrol they might say yes uh but i'm not gonna i'm not the kind of person that's gonna go to walmart and spend 20 dollars on a costume that is just cheaply made i i would rather spend money on pieces of a costume to really dress up anyways um my kids are wayne and garth and i have yet to actually get a picture of forrest in his wayne costume um, he, he will let me put on the wig, but the second I try to put on the hat, he's no goes and it really, the hat's the Wayne's World's hat. So anyways, for Carter is Garth. Um, and oh my gosh, it is seriously the cutest thing ever. My husband was convinced that nobody was going to get it. And then he won first prize. <laughs> he won first place at the fall festival and um yeah i all i have to say is my husband was wrong like that's not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life uh i really crushed that costume um i also wanted to talk about oh this is the final result of our front porch i did adjust things a little bit more after i quit recording but this is the end result um i did want to take a second to talk about fall decor and i watched this video um i can't even remember the girl's name i'm not subscribed to her channel but she was decorating for fall and she decorated tablescapes like a tablescape on her table and it was way more crowded than any of these that i'm showing you but i was just like where do you put your plates and um where do you put your food like <laughs> I think tablescapes are cute and all, but I just think it's so highly impractical. Like, I don't want to have to move crap off of my table to eat dinner. And I actually used to be the person that had, like, um, what are they called? Placemats. Had some placemats. I had Christmas placemats and some regular placemats. And 
Um, then I would just, I gave up. I was like, nope, I don't have the time and energy to dedicate to this. Uh, so I donated them and I have not looked back. I mean, yeah, they look nice and, um, it would be nice to have them, but it's just not, it's just not worth my time and energy. I just have way too much other stuff to worry about. And so placemats are not on my list of things to be concerned with. Um, I am decorating the inside of my house for Halloween and I actually have a few other decorations like, um, oh gosh, what is it? Our back entryway area thing. I don't know what you would call it. Our entryway, our, like where we hang up our coats and where our key thing is and our mail thing. I don't know what any of those things are called. And we have a mirror. Um, I put some of the little bats that you'll see me hang up here in a while back there, um, it looks really cute. Uh, and then I did put some bats in a few other places in our house. And then I did put, um, just a little bit of this fake cobweb stuff in the boys' room. Um, I changed, they have these LED lights that go around the top of their room because Carter is afraid of the dark and which is fine. Like that's super common in kids, but um, they change colors. So we changed it to orange for Halloween and we put up um, the orange, like it's this cobweb stuff. And I've actually never seen the colored cobweb stuff. I always just use white, um, but I went to the Dollar Tree Family Dollar. That is, it's like 15 minutes away from me. It's the closest Dollar Tree and this doesn't have a huge Dollar Tree section, but anyways, um, at the Dollar Tree Family Dollar, they had this cobweb stuff, and it's not as good as the other stuff that I usually buy. Like, the way it goes up is not, it's not the same, but um, they had black, and they had white, and they had purple, and green, and orange. And so I bought two black ones for in here because I knew I was going to put it on this. And then I bought a couple, one, I think one of each of the other colors. Um, and I put those up. Well, I actually only used the orange one and then we'll save the other colors for in the future. But I just thought that was really cool. Um, you'll notice I tried to hang up. This isn't cobweb. I don't really know what it's called. Like scary cloth stuff. I don't know. Um, I thought about hanging it up on our American flag thing that we have, but it just didn't look the way I was thinking it would whenever I first tried it. So I just put it on the TV stand. It looks pretty good. And then I put these pumpkins on there. And if you think the children have not messed with the pumpkins, um, aside from this first day, you're wrong. They take them down every day. It's fine. Um, they will also put them back if I tell them to, you know, like if we're leaving for school or work or whatever we're leaving for. And I tell them to pick up the pumpkins. They'll put them back. So it's it's not that big of a deal. They're little pumpkins. Um, I forgot to tell you. So the deal I got on these pumpkins was pretty dang good. Um, the, the big stacker pumpkins that I put out front, those were $6 a piece or I think two for $10. So I got $30 worth of those pumpkins. And then these little pumpkins were... Um, 50 cents a piece like the white ones and the little orange ones those were all 50 cents a piece and so I bought uh $10 worth of those so 20 little pumpkins and um yeah I thought that was a great deal uh we live across the road not across the road but we live really close to an orchard and um to buy like a small pumpkin there it's like $11 so <laughs> $5 for a pumpkin is pretty good. I know you can get pumpkins for a really good price at like Walmart or um, even like our local grocery store. They sell pretty decent size like carving pumpkins for I think it's like $6.99 or something. So I mean that's pretty reasonable as well. Um, but these like these I don't know what they're exactly called. I want to say they were called Cinderella pumpkins. Um, but this these stacking pumpkins they tend to be a little more expensive if you're buying them from somewhere. I know Sam's Club 
they have like a variety like they'll just have bins in the fall and they'll have different types of like gourds and pumpkins like just a weird like weird shaped pumpkins and I think they're like five bucks a piece so um I mean it's not like the best but for being in a small town it was a pretty good deal so I uh, bought a whole bunch of those and then I just also thought I would go ahead and share my hack for this um fake spiderweb stuff uh because I think I'm pretty genius uh, I have a whole bunch of like the 3M Velcro strips, you know, like the ones that you like put together on like the back of a picture and then stick it to a wall and then you can just pull it off because it's Velcro and you don't have to worry about tearing up your wall. Anyway, so I have a whole bunch of this Velcro, like the 3M Velcro strips, and I just put those on the side of my cabinets and then stick the, uh, whatever this webbing spiderweb stuff in them. Like they, it just sticks in there and then... It stays in place and then at the end of you know after halloween i just pull all of the little strips off and wad it up and throw it in the trash can we have also recently been watching you know halloween movies because it's october and why not um so i think probably later this week i will be sharing a you know like my favorite halloween movies um i am going disclaimer my husband does not like horror movies um, so all of the Halloween movies I will be sharing will be family friendly. I, I've watched an extensive amount of scary movies, um, but anything that's come out in probably the last, oh, eight or 10 years, I probably haven't seen it, um, just because I haven't been watching scary movies, but there is actually a new show called The Patient. I think it's on Fox. And um, I would say it's kind of like suspense horror show. Um, and it's really good. And we have we have watched Stranger Things. Uh, we don't currently have Netflix. And we have not had Netflix for over two years. And so, um, yeah, I haven't watched the last couple of seasons. But... Uh, we did watch Stranger Things, and I think that's, I think that would qualify as, like, a Halloween-type movie show. Um, I also thought I would go ahead and say these two little, like, the little ghosts and the little pumpkin thing, like, the little stands I put up, those were $5 at the Family Tree, Family Tree, Family Dollar Dollar Tree. Um, they had a pretty good selection of Halloween decor there. Um, I will say that like the decor section and the Dollar Tree section was small in comparison to like going to the normal Dollar Tree. But uh, I've actually never been in a family Dollar Dollar Tree. And I have never been to a Dollar Tree that has a Dollar Tree Plus section. So that's on my to-do list. I'm just all hyped up about Dollar Tree. <laughs> I don't love buying stuff at Dollar Tree, but like these decorations, I'm going to throw them in the trash. So I don't need them to be high quality um i like i always put up fake cobweb like yeah it's kind of messy sometimes and like it feels terrible on your hands but it looks cute i don't have to have it up for like a month and then i can throw it away so um yeah and then these little bats are just paper and the sticky stuff that are on the back of them is not reusable uh, like, like I said, these two, the little pumpkins and ghosts will get added to my Halloween bin. I also drag out my Halloween books and I did purchase the little blue truck Halloween book, uh, 10 out of 10 recommend. If you don't know what the little blue truck is and you have kids, I highly recommend you check out their book series. They actually just released a new book, I think in September, um, called little blue truck makes a friend. We will be purchasing that. Um, I will link their books down below. They, it is by far one of my favorite, like, children's book series. Um, and our youngest, Forrest, um, who you see in this video quite a bit, he, that is his favorite book series. He, all the time, he'll, like, and if you ask him what he wants to watch on TV, he'll just say, Little Blue Truck. Like, I want to watch Little Blue Truck. Read me Little Blue Truck. He, he just loves Little Blue Truck. So... Um, and then I will go ahead and share a couple of my other favorite 
books um, that are Halloween, Halloween-y. <laughs> uh, Room on the Broom. I actually just bought that this year. Uh, it is probably, I, I remember it from my childhood. Like I remember reading that book as a kid and I always thought it was super cute and I bought it and my husband was like, wow, I really like this book because it's got really good repetition, um, which is, you know, keeps children engaged a little bit better. Um, so we have that one. And then we also have, I bought another book called How to Catch a Monster, I think. And it's, it's pretty good. My husband literally was laughing in it. So it's, it's a pretty good little book. Um, those are, all right, y'all, that is all I have for you today. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel um, if you're interested in seeing this kind of stuff, I guess. Um, I hope you guys have an awesome week and I will catch you next time. Bye, y'all. Mm -hmm.